All right, guys. Today we have They Are Beast with uh, Steam. It's a $5 game. And uh, I should have probably checked, but this game is obviously not in English. But we're going to play it and make the best of it because I already paid for it. So <laughs> hopefully it's good. And hopefully it doesn't have too much text or I'm going to start making up my own story. Uh, okay, apparently we clicked the leaderboard. That is not what we want. What's the story mode at? Okay, that's my store. All right. What's this one do? <gasps> What? We found the English. Yes! Okay, that's what you click for English. Wonderful. Oh, goodness. Good. All right. Dope. All right, let's start. I was like actually super worried. I was like, man, I just bought this game for five bucks and it ain't even in fucking English. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna hit her with my motorcycle. Let's freaking go. I need to turn this down. Also, this is like a third-person top-down shooter, but it does have a story, so I'm excited to see what that is. Is that Satan? What's up, Satan? Oh shit, Satan is sucking the something out of me. That's my smoke. This is metal. Oh, don't shoot me, dog. Oh, I got him! What's up, bitch? The go- the zombie got him. Let's freaking go. Oh, wait. I thought we were fam. Oh, WASD to run, shift- or WASD to move, shift. G to throw grenade. Okay, how do I play? I also need to make sure this goes down, because it's pissing me off. Give me one moment. Peter's having a stroke. Okay, we're here. What is going? What? What is going on here? And I have an M9 apparently, so. Okay, I fucking miss. Something tells me that I should destroy these altars. Okay, sounds good. Calm a speedy boy. Look at these guys. They're creepy as hell looking. This game's pretty. Oh, wait. They're. Oh. oh. Wait, wait! How do I destroy the altar? Why is he so fast? I'm out of ammo! Oh, do I have unlimited ammo? Oh, you're fucked now, son. Shouldn't have let me know and I had unlimited ammo. Some of these are a lot faster. Woo! Why are you so fast? Okay, wait a second now. What is this? How do I break these altars? Help me. I need an adult. I can't. I'm scared. Get away from me. This is like 28 days later. These are not my type of zombies. Oh my god, the sage changed yet again. Uh. Okay, there's a lever over here, probably. And there's a bitch again. I don't know if I'm making progress or not, to be honest with you, which is the most annoying thing about this whole experience. Why are they phasing through the walls? That's kind of bullshit. Did I kill one? Thank gosh. I didn't even know if they were killable, to be honest with you. They Chris Kyle and me. Stop it, you dicks. Devil is pleased. What does that mean? Die 13 times? God damn. Incredible bullshit. Like, what the fuck? I wonder if I can kill that thing. Well, it's not very speedy, at least. Mm. Alright, let's see if we can win this time. This game is killing me so many times. I have no idea where to go. I don't know if I'm progressing or degressing or 
Something wrestling. Oh wow. Wonder if this will take me past this level. Nope. <sighs> right. Progress we've been making is astounding. Find a way to the next level. How? <laughs> what do you want from me? Alright guys, from here I'm just going to do a recording basically telling you my thoughts about the game. Um, I bet, so at the start, it, when we did the video, um, the graveyard is the starting point of the game. It's one of the most original parts of the game. It's like the only part that's not completely redundant. And then after that, I included the part where I was running through one of the stages, which all seem the same, except it spawns different enemies. And you really cannot tell if you're progressing or not in the game, or at least I couldn't. And till I got to the final boss after like running through like eight almost identical stages that like the color shading might change and there may be different enemies but it's almost exactly identical some stages you have to find a lever some stages you don't have to find a lever I think that may be random because the floor the ending of the floor changes a little bit each time but the stage is almost identical all of them are identical to each other so if you could tell which stage is which. <laughs> My head is off to you. You have some insane attention to detail. Um, but basically, I fought the final boss, which is the devil. And I was unable to beat him. I even grinded all the way up to the 50,000 point weapon. Just to see if that would make it any easier. But it's you can't. he doesn't have a health bar. So you can't tell if you're killing him or not. I know he's killable. Because I see that people have gotten the achievements. Like I checked the Steam achievement thing to make sure people had gotten it. Because I was really questioning it for a bit there. I was like, I don't know how to freaking kill this dude. I fought him for like 15 to 20 minutes at one point. And he just did not die. I don't have the patience to do it. Um, if you can do it, props to you. That's crazy good because I do not have the patience for that. Maybe you have to grind all the way to the best weapon, which I believe is an AK-47. And then maybe you could do it. I don't know. I just know I can't do it personally. So my hat's off to you if you can Overall, I'd give this game like a 4 out of 10, um, and I think that's being pretty gracious. For 5 bucks, uh, the game is very repetitive, and most like top-down games are repetitive, but you have to add something to make it at least somewhat, somewhat interesting. It doesn't excel in anything, um, because it's not a bullet hell, because really, because the mobs chase you, and anything that shoots something at you is going to hit you. Uh, you may dodge... You, you, they may miss you. You're not going to dodge it. They may miss you, but you're not dodging it, if they, uh, depending on the RNG of it. And uh, it's such a frustrating game. Minions can shoot you through walls. Some of them can face through the walls. And then a lot of the enemies just chase you, which is kind of manageable. But that's why I would say it's not a bullet hell game, because there's only a few things that shoot at you, and the things that do shoot at you are pretty freaking... Um, expert marksman. <laughs> I've played a lot of bullet hell games and this one I just did not even have the patience to like try to learn the rhythm of it. Let's see what else is there about this game. The stages are all very similar. The weapons they're alright. Uh, you can get trapped very easily because things can block you with their um, unit collision which is fine. It adds some difficulty, I guess. But it, overall, there's just nothing to draw you to the game. The story's pretty freaking lame. You don't really get much of it from what I saw. I don't know if there was like a grand ending I missed because I couldn't kill the final boss. But there are achievements. That's nice. Achievements are always nice. But, yeah, I, I don't know. This game is just very <laughs> rough. It'd be cool to see them make some changes. One, I would say implement some health bars for the final boss. That's the biggest change. I think if I could change one thing about this game, give the final boss a health bar. Give me something to aim for besides just hoping that I kill him after like 40 minutes of fighting the dude. Like, that's just crazy. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just an alright game. But it is for five bucks, which isn't super expensive, but I think I played free-to-play games that were a lot better. But that's my review of the game. The rest of this video is just going to basically be me fighting the boss before I die. But thanks for watching as always, guys. If you would, please like and subscribe. Bye!